Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Cassette Beast. No, I didn't even know this was here in the gameplay, so we're gonna crank these sliders all the way up and let's see how they do. I don't really like to play games on very hard, but Cassette Beast kind of snuck past me and I didn't even know there was a difficulty option. So. That being said, I might have to turn some of these back down. I might eat my own words. Let me turn the volume of the music just a little bit. But yeah, I might have to eat my own words as we go on here. And be like, you wanted a challenge, right? And then I get bodied. But so far, we've been doing really nice. We have to fight this bird or not. <laughs> And here seems to be. I have such bonds with never morts around here, you never get my way. Okay. So you're all level 32. You're the same level as me. Okay, so let's see how we can actually do things now. Because before, everybody was like super low level compared to me. I don't want it to become super grindy. So, um. I will uh, be open to the idea of turning the difficulty back down. If things get a little bit too hard. Okay, I'm, so the music levels are being all over the place here, so I apologize for that. But yeah. I'm open to the idea of turning it back down. I don't like this isn't necessarily a challenge run. Um, I mean, maybe I'll do a challenge run later, but right now this is not meant to be a challenge run. Um... It's gonna be a little bit difficult because that they have these thing air walls, which are gonna just get and they put berserk on me. Probably just gonna have to swap out. Maybe we won't have to swap out yet, anyways. Yeah, we're gonna have to swap out. <laughs> yeah, but when was that well enough? Like, I don't think we're like you know, breaking their world records or anything like that. I probably should have swapped out way sooner than I did, but... Um, I'll just turn right back around and heal. We have plenty of wood. Hmm. So I've been thinking... I've, I've been having a bit of a think recently. Since I'm processing my feelings over the time in morning town. So much of my time was spent trying to keep people happy. In fact, I spent a lot of time trying to please people. I think maybe I still do. It's all well and good, but maybe it's good for me to think of what I like to do as well. Otherwise, I'll just burn myself out. There'll be nothing left of me. Well, what things would you like to do in your own time? Or Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Like when I was younger, I used to have more passion for things than I do as an adult. Is that normal? No, I used to play guitar, same as my dad. My earliest memories of me sitting in his lap listening to play. How do you fit both you and the guitar on his lap at the same time? Very carefully. <laughs> I bought my own guitar in my teens, but I was never particularly good at it. I guess I gave up because I felt like 
any hobby I have is probably amount to something eventually. Well, if I wasn't destined to become a professional musician, what's the point of doing it at all? Yeah, that's not the right attitude. I have felt that myself a lot too, but that's not the right attitude. You know, you just gotta have some things for fun in life. You know what? You're right. It is a shame that I give it up. I should do more me stuff. And I don't even do productive stuff. Maybe if I want to sit in the bed all day and read off romance novels, I should. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> Thanks a million. Feels good to get us off my chest. After all, we've been teasing a great big monster together, haven't we? Something, a bond experience, if anything. Pretty much finished my cup of tea. What do you say? Shall we get back to it then? Oh, that's nice. I wish my other people would double up too. But it does give us more time to get to know the characters um, on an individual basis when we're forced to spend so much time with them because we can't do the other people's fusions. So in a way, it's kind of a good thing. Ooh. Oh no. I went too crazy that time. A preemptive strike does. I've seen other people use it and it does seem interesting to me. Is there anyone in my party I would like to see use preemptive strike? Am I accidentally clicking the wrong button? Okay. Let's see, could you use preemptive strike? I could replace Metal Wall. I could feel okay about that. You use it? Did I miss it? <laughs> we have so many. Yeah, you can't use it, sadly. How's your melee? You are a melee attacker. You're really good against plants, huh? Um, let's take out plant wall, maybe, and replace it? Yep, you do have preemptive strike. Good, okay. Well... I cannot really remember. What's going on with Earth types? Like what they're weak to or strong against? Earth types mess up uh, fire types. Oh, he crit failed and hit himself. That was funny. Art of battling it well and are talking that same? I think that's what he said I accidentally skipped it. <laughs> Got the old rocket the bird. You okay? You jumped on top of the rock. Oh crap, they're going air wall on me. But they only used it on one of them. Okay, yeah, we were able to take one of them out before the air wall got completely out of hand. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we swap out sooner this time. I wish there was a way to um, handle telling who had what reactions a little bit easier than going into the menu. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like we need a couple rocks here. Don't worry, I do see the cave. I'm not that blind. <laughs> Go back down here for this rock. Then we should maybe get our thing now. Well, the rock is like barely even on there. So that was very generous with the hitbox. Desperation is a little, is interesting. Okay, so I think... Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, this is the way. I, I was pretty sure there was got to be some way to get up there. Oh, it's a mimic, maybe? Oh, no, it's a rogue fusion. Okay, I think we'll be fine just... Let's dodge first, okay? Let's just get our our buffs set up. Holy cow, that hurt. <laughs> Let's try to get you an air wall set up. Nope. Didn't quite work out that way. Oh my goodness, they killed me. Okay, this is troublesome to say the least. We're here to switch out. Holy crap, you're strong. He's so dang fast. for you. I think he's just gonna kill me. I really need to retreat. <laughs> Is retreat Thompson? Oh, we're gonna lose some items? I mean, we kind of have to. Just keep holding out. Maybe we'll get lucky. No, he just took us both out. Yeah, we were gonna need Diffuse to beat him. Oh, we dropped a lot of stuff. Are you okay? You have to be worried there for a moment. I you wake you like you have a friend to get you back to the clinic one piece. Why don't you take these with me? Well, thank you for those rewinds. Should grab one called New World. You can go stop on Hillis Pass where you go. Stay safe out there. Be careful you want to end back here and have soon. Yeah, we kind of got blindsided by a rogue fusion there. And while we're here, we'll see what you have available. Um, sure. I'll take literally everything you have. Things did get a lot more difficult. Now we can't fast travel over there. 
Well, if that's travel up here, we should be able to get down there pretty quickly, I think. Gotta be careful not to expend all my dash at once. There's a little locked chest up there. Okay, where was, where were we? Okay, let's probably set the cup here. I can't get there through some cheeky way. Now we know what to expect. Will that make it better? Who knows? He's a, I, I think we should be fine because he's a beast. Metal. Um, actually, we're going to put you down because I know you can instant kill metal types. Well, not instant kill, but you know what I mean. Okay, good. We can actually fuse right off the bat this time. Fusion power. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is we'll throw up a metal wall. And then we'll hit you with the chopper chop. He's trying to hit us with it, but we're hitting you with it. Let's go dodge. Okay, yeah, so as long as he doesn't do anything to dodge, we should break him up pretty quickly. And there we go. Now he has his resonance, which broke him. Let's do this and give myself my healing power. And then we'll start getting you readied up. Interesting, but I don't think we're gonna put that on anybody. That probably wasn't worth getting beaten over. I mean, the fusion material honestly was worth a lot, but man, we we learned something though. Fusions are a lot stronger when they're actually up near your level. I do wonder how the whole cassette tape wants to transform things works. Doesn't make sense on the surface, right? I mean, there's normal cassette players that made of plastic. Maybe I have the wrong attitude. May focus too much on limitations is the wrong way to think about it. Maybe by accepting the impossible can still happen. We can enable it to happen, you know? That's a pretty enlightened mind view or worldview. I think do people do get caught up too much. And what is and is impossible in the world. And they kind of end up forgetting that a lot of things we have nowadays were considered impossible once. You know, the fact I'm playing this game, recording it, and showing it to you right now, and, you know, I have a, a not insignificant amount of my viewers are from Brazil, for example, and I'm in uh, Florida, in the United States. So, it's like, just that we can not only communicate, but I can show you some weird game like this is, like, that 200 years ago would have been basically impossible. I heard you coming at least 200 meters out. If you want the as far as you lost it. Uh, okay. The ranger kept in survival. 
My job is to stay alive no matter what. That's easier said than done when you have your surviving, or I don't call them vicious predators, but a long way from home. The only thing that separates us from the beasts are ability to strategize. When you're starring, staring a monster dead in the eyes, the only way you're coming out alive is you know the battle is already run. won. Your first hand lesson survival, then I already received intel, you're a ranger trainee. Okay, I did not expect you. Alright, All right, but I'll take it personally if I still face down in the dirt. Okay, let's see how this goes. I, I think I actually like my people I have right now. Because yeah, he got burned, and then you're going to get uprooted. My burn should stop you, like, uh, help negate your uh, region, I think. Does this work on friends, too? Gives the user. Okay, so never mind. We can't actually use that on our other guy. I was thinking that would be a pretty nice ability to have. It does look like we might actually uh, lose our fire boy here. Who are you bringing out? That's as long as I thought you would. Not bad. You have a toxic coming out. Which metal is good against toxic? I actually found a steam guide that shows the chart. <laughs> so I wish I could show it to you guys. But if you want to follow home, uh, along at home, then... Um, I highly recommend you look at the steam guide. It's just called, let me go check what it's called. It's called Elemental Type Chart uh, Image Printed, is what it's called on the Steam Guide. And it shows you the type chart from the game. Let's have you dodge. So, for example, Poison is so as a defender, poison is weak to fire and strong against plant. And since we don't have any fire type, we'll look at what poison is bad at attacking. Poison is bad at attacking astral. No, poison is bad at attacking earth, fire, and metal. So. We don't have any of that. So we'll just switch to you. Okay, well, I messed. I didn't look at what water was good against. So I kind of messed up there. <laughs> so learning the, how to read the chart exactly. And I think this just about does it. 
I don't think you have anything else, do you? You do? No, okay, you don't. <laughs> Reduce accuracy of range that aren't water, air, or ice to zero for three turns. That is very interesting. Let's see. Um, Dock Leaf is fine. Sticky Tongue could be good. I think I'll take Double Smack out. I feel like we're not going to use that that much. Your strategy is kind of my strategy. She must have minds up true ranger. You've earned this. Parry stance, which is an upgraded version of parry stance, and upgrade dangerous time. Civilization security or fleeting notions. If you can't survive out in the field with nothing but your wits, then you're letting yourself down. I guess we actually have an upgraded parry stance. It just gives us more XP, but um, you know, any upgrade is an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, we need to get our upgrade. Use that crap. Where is it? it? Must be here. Yeah, okay. Who are we going to use it on? I'm going to use it on you, I guess, because you're kind of lagging behind a little bit. So we're going to run back and heal, but then we're going to come back and keep exploring in that direction. Yeah, the fines do require a little bit more thought, but I think we're doing fine overall. I think if I do get to go back home, I need to put up all my ranger skills and actions. It'd be a waste of everything I learned here to go back how I was living before. What was your life like before? I was in there, what you call exciting life after a college return shop in my hometown. It was pleasant, but after everything I've been through on this island, I'm not sure that will satisfy me anymore. Oh, we have a time. We have uh, evolution here. One in every hundred filly pads and natural environments will develop into a lily gator. Lily gators act as bodyguards for the pads in their waters, making all drastically stronger aggressors. Their filly pad will not stand a chance against otherwise. Ooh. But yeah, well, apparently we can jump better than he can fly. Let's see what was down here. Hey. Yeah, I see your tape player. Can join Rangers? I guess that makes us rivals. I think Beast, let me just check my current. I'm pretty sure Beast is just nothing besides, yeah, a mirror, I think, is the only thing that affects Beast or Glass type. Basically, something we don't have yet. Status effects. Okay, flammable. There, see, burn whenever they hit by fire type. In addition, burn damage is increased. Okay. So, I'm not sure how long flammable lasts. Last time I used it, it kind of like went away pretty fast. Oh, you got me. I got to respool. <laughs> so I have my work cut out for me. Now I need to respool. I 
and it looks like this is kind of the end of this island. So we'll see what this little bridge goes in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Monster Hunter Blue, signing off. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. God bless. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.